Hello everybody and welcome. This is History Dude and today we will be continuing our series on the history of battle with the Battle of Echnomus, which occurred in 256 BCE. Now, in terms of the number of sailors and soldiers involved, Echnomus was one of the largest naval battles in history. The Romans had brought about 330 ships with about 140,000 crew members, with the Carthaginians had brought about 350 ships with 150,000 crew members. Now this battle was fought off the southeast coast of Sicily, and here you can see the Roman fleet and the Punic fleet and Cape Echnomus, which for which the battle is named. Now, uh, in 256 BCE, the Romans decided to attack Carthage itself. A large fleet under the command of consuls Lucius Manlius Vulso and Marcus Attilius, Attilius Regulus set out to ferry an army across to North Africa. Two squadrons in wedge formation in front and a reserve squadron in line behind protected a squadron of galleys towing transports. This fleet met the Carthaginians whose ships were stretched out in line off the Sicilian coast. In a pincer movement, the Carthaginian right wing attacked the Roman reserve squadron while their left drove into the transport squadron. But the front two Roman squadrons broke through the center of the Carthaginian line and then turned back to rescue the rear struggling squadrons. No mean feat of commandering and maneuvering. In the words of Greek historian Polybius, quote, it was now the turn of the Carthaginians to be in difficulties. The Romans routed them and, after refitting in Sicily, their fleet sailed across to Africa unopposed. And here you can see a depiction of the Battle of Echnomus, um, as done by ancientwarfare.com. And... The casualties were uh, Rome lost about 24 ships sunk, with the Carthaginians losing about 36 ships sunk and 64 ships captured. So this was a resounding Roman success in the First Punic War. So with the battles of Miley and Echnomus, the Romans' naval power was beginning to be established and dominance was being established in the Mediterranean. And that is about all you need to know about the Battle of Echnomus. As always, this has been History Dude, and remember to have an awesome day.